Good news, everybody. The Zika virus is unlikely to be a threat at the Olympics in Rio de Janeiro. Cooler winter temperatures, Rio's dry season, and distance from the jungle means that the mosquitoes that spread Zika will be rare. In fact, the CEO of the Rio Organizing Committee said that Zika's not even on the top 10 of his list of worries about the games. So that's comforting. On the other hand, there are at least 10 other threats to the Rio games worse than the virus that could bring on a Children of Men style apocalypse. Uh, the short version is this. Brazil has a crippled economy, a corrupt government that can't fix it, collapsing public services, a potentially explosive divide between the rich and poor, and filthy water that's a hazard to anyone who swims or boats in it. Uh, let's start with the water. About one third of Rio has no formal sanitation system, and most sewage isn't treated at all. Urban canals and streams dump raw sewage into the waterways that will be used for Olympics events. Guanabara Bay, the site of the Olympic sailing competition, is littered with debris. Sofas, old TVs, mattresses, refrigerators, dead animals, everything from washing machines to plastic bags. The trash presents obstacles for the sailors, but it's hardly the biggest risk to them. That would be the insanely high amount of bacteria and viruses in the water, according to an AP report from last summer. And when I say insanely high, I mean up to 10 times the acceptable level of fecal coliforms, a bacteria that often suggests the presence of cholera, dysentery, hepatitis A, and typhoid. And if that's not insanely high enough for you, how about 1.7 million times the number of viruses that would be considered dangerous on an American beach? Ingesting as little as three teaspoons of Rio's water creates a 99% chance of infection. And in case that overwhelming raw data isn't clear enough to you, global water experts confirm that yes, none of Rio's venues are safe for swimming or boating. Oh, and uh, what's the acceptable number of dismembered body parts for a beach? For me, that number is zero. On Copacabana Beach, a foot and another unidentified body part washed up next to the Olympic Beach Volleyball Stadium. <laughs> you can go to the Olympics, but they cost an arm and a leg. <laughs> Just made that joke about somebody who probably got murdered, so feels pretty good. But the poisonous water is only a byproduct of Rio's bigger problem. In the city's bid to the IOC, Rio claimed it would clean up its waterways with a $4 billion expansion of basic sanitation infrastructure. It promised to build eight new treatment facilities. So far, one has been built. This is standard for Brazil. A sewage treatment plant built in 2000 sat idle for 14 years because it wasn't hooked up to sewage mains. However broken you think American or European politics are right now, They've got nothing on Brazil, which is rotten to the core. President Dilma Rousseff has been impeached and suspended, and it's kind of unclear whether she's actually corrupt or just the victim of enemies who are using the recession to throw her out of office. What is clear is that more than half of Brazil's lawmakers are themselves under criminal investigation. More than half! And it's not all garden variety corruption either. Some of the offenses include homicide and slavery. It's a tragedy, but not a surprise that a government this riddled with corruption can't provide the infrastructure to deliver on a promise to clean up its filthy water. And given the country's worst recession since the 1930s, it's no surprise that the city of Rio de Janeiro is broke, leaving police and firefighters unpaid and warning tourists as they arrive at the airport. Hey, you know who tend to be experts on whether or not a populace is safe? Oh, police and firefighters. Uh, as for the sign that says, welcome, we don't have hospitals, uh, don't worry, that's, that's not true. I know there are hospitals because medical waste getting dumped in the water is the best explanation for the antibiotic resistant super bacteria that was found on local beaches in December. Mm. But listen, this is hardly the first bout of hand wringing about an Olympic host city's preparedness for the games. Remember Sochi's warm weather and unfinished hotels? Remember Beijing's choking pollution and the algae bloom that threatened the sailing event? And barring a cataclysmic security failure, the spirit of the Olympics is enough to whitewash the smaller problems, and when the games leave, the city is left with the problems it had before. Plus, you know, a bunch of sports venues it no longer needs. Hey, how's it going, Athens Olympics training pool? Rio de Janeiro needs muckraking and modernization. What it's going to get instead is 350,000 foreign visitors for a three-week party featuring thousands of bouts of explosive diarrhea. That's the best case scenario. And when the party's over, the rich will be a little bit richer and Rio's poor will still be isolated in favelas without clean water or proper sanitation. And unless the IOC becomes more responsible to and for its host cities, it will happen again in the next developing country dumb enough or led by people corrupt enough to make an Olympic bid. So yay, let the games begin.